Lecture Seven, Gateway. The Greeks' focus on the salient object and its attributes led to their failure to understand the fundamental nature of causality. Aristotle explained that a stone falling through the air is due to the stone having the property of gravity, but of course, a piece of wood tossed into water floats instead of sinking. This phenomenon Aristotle explained as being due to the wood having the property of levity. In both cases, the focus is exclusively on the object. With no attention paid to the possibility that some force outside the object might be relevant, but the Chinese saw the world as consisting of continuously interacting substances, so their attempts to understand it caused them to be oriented toward the complexities of the entire field, that is, the context or environment as a whole. The notion that events always occur in a field of forces. Would have been completely intuitive to the Chinese. Exercise one. With the rise of an urban middle class in the 19th century, many cats no longer had to serve as full-time mousers. Increasingly, they were kept by the owners who simply liked having them around for their beauty, grace, and the affection they could offer. A phenomenon called the cat fancy followed. The pets of fanciers competed for ribbons at cat shows, and breeders began to refine existing breeds and develop new ones. The first recorded cat show, with 170 cats on exhibit, was held in 1871 at London's Crystal Palace. Just 18 years later, more than three times as many cats were shown, and 20,000 cat fanciers attended. American cat lovers soon followed suit with a show of their own at New York's Madison Square Garden in 1895. Perhaps not surprisingly, a Maine Coon, a breed of Yankee ancestry, won that first Best in Show award. Today, the cat fancy is alive and well, and hundreds of clubs worldwide sponsor cat shows. Exercise two. Every situation, properly perceived, becomes an opportunity, but you have to act on it if you're going to be successful. Distant pastures always look greener than those close at hand, but real opportunities are right where you are. You must take advantage of them when they appear. Success is not your environment, in luck or chance, or in the help of others. Success is in yourself alone. Take a second look at what appears to be someone's good luck. You'll find not luck, but preparation, planning, and success-producing thinking. When you're prepared for opportunity, your chance for success is sure to come. The season of failure is the best time for sowing the seeds of success. Decide that this year will be your year for success. And prepare for it to happen. Exercise three: An individual driven by companionship is motivated by the opportunity to get things done as a member of a group. The key factor here is not the capability of being a team player, nor is it the team spirit itself. It is how much somebody is motivated to follow through and achieve a peak result. By the fact that he is working together with others to achieve the desired result. Think of exercise bikes, for example. Some people have no problem being disciplined and riding them in the gym, where there are others doing the same. But if they have one at home, it collects dust and is never used. The reason is not lack of character or missing discipline. The reason is that the powerful companionship motivator of these individuals is not activated when alone at home. Exercise four. Some of the skills and abilities that are encouraged in video games are useful for many different purposes. Most of all, video games are excellent for developing visual awareness. For example, 
Recent studies show that they can significantly improve a surgeon's skill in using her hands when performing operations. Also, playing video games has been shown to increase short-term memory of people in test groups. The reason for this is that most games require players to spread their attention over the screen quickly in order to detect and react to changing events. In fact, playing video games may trigger previously inactive genes that are important for developing neural pathways necessary for spatial attention. Research is now suggesting that playing video games could even increase attention spans. Rather than reduce them. Exercise five.